specialist. I think he tends to play a lot of the same archetype as well, which is good characters. Yeah, you know, my man that's, knows the how to use that's, the, that's the archetype. Yeah. He knows how to use his movement really, really well as well. Ness, though, a phenomenal doubles character. IMO, like, top five. He's won several doubles majors at this point. Rob, on the other hand, you know, kind of situational. It's going to be up to Tony to really bail Whirlpool out of a lot of scary situations right here because yeah. both Wario and Cloud Advantage is pretty good. Yeah. Looking at um, them before, they appeared on the stream before. Tony and... Whirlpool, really good in doubles, good, had pretty good conversions and really aware of what was going on. And I'm already starting to see the logic behind this uh, cloud pick for Sharp. Just having an out of shield option in Climb Hazard is so good, especially against characters like Ness and Rob, who are going to try and pretty much hit you from the air almost every time, you know? Whirlpool really can't afford to play super duper zony just oh. because he, he puts his teammate at risk of getting hit by Gyro and Laser as well. Yeah, no, I totally agree with you. And, all right. Okay, another big thing right there that Whirlpool should be doing is, you know, looking for that grab. Grab, down throw into Yo-Yo, gonna be a perfect way to finish things off. I've seen so many teams use Rob just specifically for that down throw. Just because, yeah, you can mash out of the berry timing, but if you have a teammate to immediately hit your opponent right as they get buried, you're, you're gonna be getting kills, you're yeah. gonna be getting stocks. And in this game, berry knockback is not adjusted from what it was in past times. Right. All right, though, Tony, you know, my man, man himself, actually, I'm holding on to this stock really well right here. Light also, I feel like, I would rather Sharp playing really, really well grounded right now. Not jumping, waiting for waiting for both Tony and, and Whirlpool to kind of jump on him first and trying to juggle. I love how off, hands off he's been playing. Yeah, and actually, I'm a big person, like, from what I've seen, to hold wall. So just waiting for the right opportunity. Now a person to just, like, waste wall and just use it right away. Right. Excellent blade beam right there to uh, get the pressure off. I love that Whirlpool decided to recover low right there to not you know mess up with Ness's recovery because Ness needs a lot of space to recover if he can't afford to air dodge to, uh, to ledge immediately. No, certainly. Oh, almost got caught with the landing right there. And I like to chomp in the corner. Still, though, Tony and Whirlpool not doing a terrible job right now. They've they've been you know keeping each other afloat just you know barely. I just feel like in terms of stage control, I feel like Sharp and Axiom just have a lot better grasp on how to take advantage of when both Rob and Ness have to land. Yeah, but they're both at equal percents, or, or I was going to say equal stocks, but yeah, Tony dying right there does not let Red Team a good advantage. A two-frame up tilt, too. So strong as but well. But you know what Ness a good advantage? Rob! That's true. <laughs> Sorry. My man got put in the Whirlpool. He's got swept away. Carried off by the undertow. Whirlpool looking a little bit worse for wear right now, but still looking good. I'm just loving how Sharp and Axiom have been positioning themselves. You know, and often in doubles, you want to have the other team either sandwiched or cornered. And the fact that they have both of these fights isolated to both of them having stage control is only going to help them even further if they need to bail their team out of the scary situation. Yeah, but then now they're even up with the socks. And you kind of want to start putting percent onto Sharp because he is at the high percent. And if you start singling him out, it will just force Axiom to start to come in and try to be desperate to help. And big limit being blown right here. Axiom going to be doing a ton of damage right here to Whirlpool. Did Tony get caught up in the, the waft? I feel like Tony tried to punish. What happened? So Tony tried to put, punish the waft, but because it, it lingered, it has, he just, yeah. Yeah, he just jumped into it, essentially. For those of you who don't know, if the waft actually connects with something, the hitbox lasts longer. You know, you get, you get more duration on it just because of the, the amount of hits that it's doing. But either way, looking really good for Sharp right here. Oh, smash? Yeah, okay, that was it. finishing touch. That is such a huge overcommitment right there from the ledge. But I mean, what else can Rob really do to get himself out of that bind right there? Sharp and Axiom looking good. I, I, I think the fact that they're just consistently winning stage control, I'm not really seeing like too much, you know, working as a team. But I am seeing two players who are winning stage control consistently and bailing their teammate out when they're in a scary situation. Yeah. They're cognizant of like, oh, you're losing your 1v1 here. So I'm, I'm going to come over and help you. Because as, as good, as good exactly. Right there, yeah, yeah, just yeah he up. got caught up in it. He got farted on. He got pooped on. Ooh, stinky. Uh-oh, <laughs> uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, yeah, yeah. tried to up air to try and catch it. But that hitbox is still active, my man. Wario had a lot of garlic. My man had Chipotle right before this game. <laughs> he's out here. No, he's definitely out. He's out of there. Also, the biggest thing is, like, 
if Rob and Ness are just being swung, if Ness is constantly having to return to stage, he's not going to be able to use those amazing hitboxes he has at his disposal. So the fact that Tony's being kept in the air so hard, I feel like he needs to start playing a little bit more grounded or just a little bit more minimalistic. Not try to go for really greedy combo strings, not really swing first, just really wait for either him or his teammate to open something up, or for the opponent to just whiff. I feel like Tony taking the first swing here is losing him so much time in stage control, and as, as grounded as Sharp and Axiom are playing, they're just going to keep the advantage up. Yeah, no, I totally agree with that. And Sharp, another up beyond the shield, just punishing them for not respecting him holding shield. And guys, unlike that winner's final set, this set is best of three. So if Sharp and Axiom take this, that's the whole shebang. And uh, Tony and Whirlpool will be out of the bracket. Yeah. And I feel like either of these teams losing here will feel somewhat like of a disappointment Ooh! because of how, of how strong they are. If he up smashed after that gyro down throw, I think uh, he would have gotten the conversion. I would have popped off. I would have popped off. That I would have went, ah! You would have <laughs> my little girl scream. Oh my god, just go. missing. Yeah, Tony oh, just missing no. himself. Yeah. There's so much happening on the screen. Sometimes, you know, you, you start autopiloting and you're, you're looking at the other opponent. So this is going to be a kill, potentially? No, oh. missing the dare right there. Not spacing it correctly enough. Yeah, but also fearing Axiom going out. So it was like, okay, I got to respect Axiom because they could just kill me. Oh, misspacing the down smash right there. Ooh, Whirlpool, this is huge. Has Sharp all the way in the corner, and they're just smothering him right now. Has to air dodge right there. Cloud is not making it back. Axiom trying to save him, but it's not going to pan out. This is huge for the red team now. Whirlpool has just maximized the longevity of his stock right here. And he's been doing really good when he has Sharp. This is a kill. That's a stock. Yeah. Unbelievable by Whirlpool. That was so good. And he's still alive at 168. That's insane. Uh, doing his job. It's like a whirlpool of yeah, destruction. <laughs> sucking everything in. <laughs> Yo, sucking everything in his back. Hey, you, you know what you're saying. <laughs> you're, you're, you're doing this on purpose now. <laughs> <laughs> still, though, whirlpool, like, playing defensively super well. They're just not finding an answer to these landing uh, aerials right here. But red team up so well right now. You know, Tony just had. They just have to get a hit in. They just have to catch a jump on the blue team at least once, and they they, they have their way in. They're in the club. They don't need to show their ID again. <laughs> they made it through. <laughs> the fake ID working right now for Ness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, what red team really needs to do is just hold wow. on to this. Wow. Yeah. Little plot armor never hurts either. You know, you gotta pray to someone. <laughs> So the Sharp getting really put in bad situations just because of how hard it is to land where there's platforms that Ness and Rob can both shark on. Like, Sharp is forced to go to ledge every single time, and Axiom sometimes just not there to save him. I also do think it's due to the smaller stage. Like, yeah. Because sure. PS2 is a bigger stage, but there is more engagement in this stage. All right, though. Big down smash coming out. Sharp's got limit on deck. I don't think it'll be taking out anything unless Whirlpool really, really messes up here. I like that Tony's been going for these dash attacks, so this is a really bad spot for Sharp. Climb Hazard, I love the option select to go high right there. He knew Whirlpool had all that space covered. Oh. He's not messing with that bike. Oh, this is oh. huge! Didn't get the sweet spot fair right there, but this is huge. Uh-oh, big commitment. Yeah, and are we about to see a comeback right now? Potentially. We do have Waft all charged up on Axiom right now. This could be huge. Getting the up smash right there. If they just take Tony out, one good combo on Whirlpool will seal the fate right there for a uh, yeah. team. Oh, yeah. this is huge. Oh, no. No more no more lingering up tilt for you, Wario. Okay, but the first sharp is gone. Can Axiom do it by himself? Tony is at 124. If he gets this early Waft off on on Whirlpool, or, or gets Tony out of the picture with some sort of stray hit. This is looking good. This, this, this is totally well within the uh, realm of doability for the blue team. Yeah. Oh, he goes a little too low, though. Gets hit by the tail. Excellent control right there by Tony. And we're going to a game three. Yeah. And if I'm sharp and Axiom, I'm not fearing. You know how far down they were? They're That's, down. They're, they were down bad. They were down bad. Horrendously, tremendously. Yeah, great tail control right there. I don't know if Axiom could have used the bike there. I think bike was already used. It was on cooldown, I believe. Yeah, because they got hit all stage. <laughs> he probably was just leaning back. <laughs> Still, though, that was scary. You know, we saw an SD from Tony. Whirlpool. Whirlpool, really, though, the MVP of that game. Like, how are you, rib how are you living in doubles as Rob at 169% against both Wario 
and Cloud. Oh, well, how are you doing that? Battlefield did play a part. And one, I, I being feel one like of the biggest stages, but big also battle. Whirlpool doing a great job yeah. on surviving. Just avoiding the big blows from these players. Just doing these really slow falling nares to the point where one teammate can't really bail out the other one. Also, I, I just feel like that Sharp and Axiom are not trying hard enough to bully Rob in this, you know, scenario. Yeah. You well, want to be forcing Rob in the corner every time. Either way, we got the Jonker, Persona 5 coming out. My personal favorite character of Sharps. Is Joker? I love Joker, dude. Joker's so cool. You, you kind of look like him. I do. It's true. I haven't told that a lot. <laughs> Either way, though, I think Joker here will give Sharp a little bit more easy of a time and disadvantage. He just can't get hit out of his tether at all. He should be looking fine. You know, Joker's very good grab, quick throws as well to really get the opponent out. He's not going to be doing a ton of damage or percent without our send, but he is going to be able to live a while, and he's got a lot of safe buttons. Oh, the Nair. Come through. And... I like this state, the wider state allow them to put more like pressure and it allows them to go back into their like 1v1 flow chart. All right, Casper's out on deck now. Gonna hopefully be seeing some big hits from Sharp right here and it's the kill percent is well within it right now. And I like Tony just camping out. He doesn't want to mess with Arsene at all. He knows he's at kill percent for one good back here. Axiom somehow dying right there. I didn't see what happened to him, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately. I wasn't looking on that side, but Sharp cleaned it up saying I'm gonna even the stocks out. And, you know, trying to clean this stock out from Tony with our scent, or at least get Tony in a really bad position. But Tony just opting to play, you know, as far away as possible, trying to, I, th I think, I think this is a good adjustment from Tony because it's not letting him in the fray as much, but he's also living a whole lot longer when Whirlpool is down a stock. Yeah. All right, though, big, and yes, oh. cute, really good conversion right there, not only because you get Ness directly in front of you, the down smash covers people trying to run and yeah, save the opponent as well. that did not look like the best DI, yeah. though. Yeah, no, my man, my man got whisked. <laughs> he was gone. This guy said, and me. That was, that was my mom's calling me for dinner, the eye. <laughs> All right, the Whirlpool offstage as well as Tony. This is huge stage control for both Sharp. I love how grounded Sharp is playing, but goes for the dash grab while the opponent is in the corner. Never, never, never a good option to go for. I feel like, I feel like that option always gets people killed. All right. Okay, I like the Rebels Guard usage right there. Yeah, I, I also do. I Basically, I'm looking at Tony, though, and he's just applying a lot more pressure just trying to ledge trap him. Yeah. The thing and is, he's been hitting Whirlpool a lot. Now we're getting a little bit more scrappy in the corner right here. Tony has actually put Whirlpool in a couple bad uh, positions just because he keeps doing narrative shield in these really close quarter combat situations. I think him backing off earlier was really good to keep his stock up, but now that they're actually opting to bully Whirlpool a whole lot more, Tony has to be forced to use these really close aerials that might put Whirlpool in trouble. All right, it's not going to end it. Yes, it is. Not so. out of the question just yet. Whirlpool looking a little bit worse for well. It's still, this Arsene is up as well, and Sharp is making the most of it right now. Yeah. yeah, this is like, if Whirlpool can, oh my god, just grab any teammate. But if he can just pull what he did in game two and just manages to hold off the stock to like 190-ish, then I can see a potential comeback. Oh, the laser. Yeah, that's why projectiles and doubles are never usually a good idea unless you know that it won't hit your teammate. Because it is, I believe, I believe lasers also transcend it, right? Yes. So it goes through everything. So that was going to hit Ness regardless of whatever was going on right there. Uh, unless he's somehow absorbing new what's going on. Yeah, but, I don't know. Not yeah. hit stun, you're not. And a critical <laughs> error right there. With this Arsene still up, Sharp has been farming this Arsene so well right here. Up really good, not eating the thunder there. I think that's why he fast fell right there to try it for it. All right. Oh, this is bad. No jumpy. Yeah, no, this looks terrible for Tony. Lobbed and Arsene on deck. I can't picture Ness in a worse spot. And in a 2v1 where Ness is trying to land where he's very floaty, where his airspeed isn't the fastest, Ripper it's going to be Kearns right there. Yeah. Yeah, a little, little bit of a kind of major error, I feel like, from both Tony and uh, Whirlpool. Starting to hit each other a lot more, realizing the game is getting a little bit more out of the grass. I got to say, you know, Axiom was doing a fantastic job getting the hits he needed in, but Sharp's grounded play there was phenomenal. Did not jump, which is exactly what Ness and Rob want you to do. They want you to jump into their pretty all-encompassing fast aerials. Sharp was just... You know, waiting for waiting for the landings and then just F-tilting. Waiting for the landings and just up-smashing. Waiting for the landings or, or if they're going to mash in his face, Rebels guarding. He did he did such a good job. Yeah.